Hey, I figured I'd do a quick uh, uh, CNC video here. And uh, got a box in the mail yesterday. Looks like there's a little demon inside. So what this is, this is a, uh, a controller board um, from Phil Johnson uh, of Designs by Phil. And uh, he's gone ahead and developed his own, uh, I guess technically it's a breakout board. Uh, but for a uh, CNC machine, um, Phil does a lot of stuff with uh, X cards and stuff like that. So this is a uh, the Gerbil based uh, controller um, pieces, and let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, missed one. Probably would have helped if I did this with a knife instead of a screwdriver, but. So I got sitting here next to me. Oh, forgot that one too. I'm just gonna tear into it. So let's see what we got in here. Alright. So paper. Some confetti. There we go, we'll get rid of that. And the board itself. Uh, it's in nice packaging, shielding bag. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, and if you want one for yourself, go to designsbyphil.com and uh, he'll, uh, I'm sure, gladly uh, provide you with one. Um, or you can purchase one there. Uh, for he can also do the complete controller with uh, the uh, drivers and everything. It's a really nice setup. It's uh, not very expensive. So, um, I, me, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, might try to get it to work with uh, a Raspberry Pi, or maybe I'll do a uh, you know a, a, an Arduino version of it or what have you. Not really sure. Um, he's a good guy. I wanted to support him, so I bought one. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty neat setup here. I'll show you what the what the board looks like. So here's the board. Um, you can see this is version 1.1. 1. 1. Um, got screw terminals everywhere. Um, it's got uh, direction Z limit switches already plumbed and wired up. Uh, it's got the portions for all the drivers. Uh, and a board, pause, resume, uh, a probe one, all that good stuff. So it looks like it's pretty, pretty cool. On the back, there we go. All the solders look good. It, it's a nice uh, shield. Pretty happy with it. You know, um, you can see some of the, looks like a few of the terminal blocks aren't thousand percent straight but that's okay I mean as long as the solder joints are good that's all that matters and this will end up being in a box anyway so you're not going to notice a little bit of a, a little crookedness so cool let's uh see what we can do about getting this thing hooked up to something but I figured you might want to see a quick uh quick unboxing of it and see what you get 